Today we are doing a what is in my fridge. Obviously I'm in a new place which is really exciting so whenever I show you the food and show you what we've gotten, it's new stuff, it's new appliances, new refrigerator, whole new stuff. So which is all really exciting. If you didn't already know by the title or by my shirt or my hat or the things that are in my fridge, this is obviously going to be a vegan what's in my fridge because we are vegan. So yesterday we went to our farmer's market and that's where we get most of our produce and then what we didn't get at the farmer's market we went to our local sprouts which is about 20-25 minutes away but so worth it because they have a lot of organic and even still some local foods there. Without further ado, let's hop to it. Okay so let's get started shall we? This is my fridge. Open it up and see lots of green! Yay! Okay so starting at the top. In the back there we have some miso paste, lo mein, no shame, and then these two so this one is just some onion that I had cut up and used some. And then down there is actually some coconut cream from a can of like coconut milk that I let just sit. And we have some fresh strawberries. We had a lot more, but we go to town on those. Blueberries. Um, okay, so down here I have my potatoes. We do not really have a pantry. We have like just a couple cabinets that we use as a pantry. So I put things like potatoes in the fridge just to create more space in the cabinets. Um, but anyway, so we have like the little red ones that are cute, I love, and then the yellow ones. I think they're called like Yukon Gold maybe, the big ones. Anyway, I just have them in this bag, just still from the uh, farmer's market. I got some uh, mushrooms, if I can, there we go. Some mushrooms, which are delish. I got some fresh organic cilantro. So this was just a local farm, grew it and that's in that little bag. Oftentimes, if I get it from the store, I'll put it in a little mason jar and fill it with water, but I didn't do it this time. Oh, and that's my cabbage in the back. <laughs> yeah, so that came from the farmer's market. Most of this did come from the farmer's market, besides obviously like the lo mein. Kale, which I will later on do like a meal prep, kind of salad prep with all this kale. So this is a giant normo celery. That's what that is right here. I'll go back up and do this in a second. But this is celery back here. Again, farmer's market, huge. And then we have six ears of corn back here. Farmer's market, yeah, yeah, okay, you get the point. And then that is our, it's sprouts, but it's, what is it, is it, I think pea sprouts, maybe? No, sunflower, sunflower sprouts, that's what they are. Back up into this. We have some junk, vegan junk food, but yeah, it's what it is, okay, balance. So we have some Daya cheddar and then some Follow Your Heart cheddar. I like the Follow Your Heart one better. But yeah, and then I think I have a mozzarella down there. Yep, mozzarella is almost out though. But yeah, cheddar is usually the cheaper one and so is the Follow Your Heart. Like usually Follow Your Heart is the cheaper one out of the two. For some reason, I don't know why, but. Anyway, back there is some vegan bacon, some extra firm tofu. It's not really focusing, but that's what that is. I'll make some tofu scramble with that. I have my flour tortillas. Oh, underneath, I was thinking, underneath the, the bacon I have hot dogs. <laughs> Cause I like to do hot dogs with tortilla and the vegan cheese. It sounds gross, but it's literally the best thing ever. Some croissant rolls. These are vegan actually. Surprise, surprise. Okay, let's see if we, we can even get to this door. All right, this huge celery is in the way. So this is actually really cool. This was at the farmer's market and he had like all the green things you've ever seen in your life, all the sprouted things, all the different kind of, just everything. Like, I, mean, I don't know, I got so much stuff. Maybe I could do like a video on that sometime. So it was like $6 for this tub and then he just filled it and cut it like right then and there from the little like pans of of herbs and greens. It was amazing. So, and then underneath that, I just have baby spinach because I, I put that in everything when I'm like cooking, when I'm sauteing stuff, I just put in like a handful of baby spinach. And those are uh, romaine hearts. I'll put that into my salads. Down here, I have asparagus and then zucchinis and squashes cauliflower. Yeah, that was all farmer's market actually. Except for, of course, like I said, the lo mein and the miso. All right, now on to the side. Okay, up here we have some butter. Can't believe it's not butter and it's actually obviously not butter. Peanut butter, that's just like literally peanuts just grounded up. Nooch, nutritional yeast, yes, the holy grail. Um, my caramel silk almond creamer, it's the best of life, but they didn't have any more, so I'm like running out. Orange juice, yes, no pulp, that's gross. Obviously almond milk. Unsweetened. I have this green superfood, antioxidants. It's pretty good. Don't think I'm gonna get it again though. 
Dang it, hold on. Where, where are we? Okay, so um, this is like really random, but I ha we have like a tiny little hummus. <laughs> And then applesauce to make our waffles. And I got some strawberry jam for Adam. We got some strawberry jam. Um, it's just it's a, at the farmer's market they make it. Just mayo, delish. This is what we put the nutritional yeast in, the bulk. We've just had this container forever, so we just refill it. This was interesting. Uh, I tried it, it's really gross, honestly. Coconut water, diet dressing, creamy Caesar. Yeah, it's pretty good. Obviously, I need my huge thing of maple syrup because Canadian, eh? I got some beet juice that I made myself. This is some cold coffee. Wow, that was heavy. Some more grape jelly. I didn't realize we had more. Down here we have ketchup, mustard, I like my toes, tahini. This is coconut aminos, which is uh, I use in place of soy sauce. Balsamic glaze. Oh, this is just like a Thai red curry paste. Yeah, we don't really love canola oil, but that was something we got at our wedding, so we use some sweet relish whenever we have like sausages. The roasted garlic bread dipper. I've used that like on salads actually. Actually, it's part of my like oil dressing. That because awesome. I use that for my cauliflowers. That's that side. And then we go over here, we open up the freezer. So first of all, we have some pina colada non-dairy frozen dessert. Pretty good actually. This is really random, but it's two cupcakes left that looks like it's bleeding because it's red velvet. From our wedding! We gotta have it on our like one year, I guess, is the tradition. We have Guardian, or Guardian, I don't know. Fishless fillets, the ultimate booth was ground. Delicious, we use that for our spaghetti. Sprouts burgers, they're actually pretty good. They're really cheap. There's like other brands, but like the Sprouts one is cheapest and it's pretty delicious. We have all of our frozen greens. We have Brussels sprouts, green beans, peas. Um, that's a frozen spinach. I, I might make like a spinach chip or something. And then here's like some more that we've like used. So it's just peas and I think like a broccoli, yeah. And then down here we have stuff for smoothies. We have literally just mango chunks. We have two little, oh it's upside down. Little of these whole wild blueberries we add to our smoothies. And then this one is the Frozen medley, I think, the berry medley. Yeah, so it's got blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. That is it, and my fingers are frozen. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of content you would like to see. If you wanna see a kitchen tour, apartment tour, just let me know, and I'll try to get it done for you. Thanks, guys. Until next time, bye.